Okay, gang, I uh, just wanted to tell you uh, this little amateur video that I'm doing right now. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the progress of my book called uh, Project 211. Project 211 uh, is a historical fictional book, and it takes place in World War, essentially in World War II. The beginning of it starts out in uh, the present day, in, in 1991, and it tells of an old man telling the story about his time in World War II. So it starts in the present day, it goes back to World War II, and then it comes back again to the present day. But the bulk of the story is World War II. And the story is really about the Nazi effort to get the atomic bomb. And historically in World War II, the Nazis were trying very hard to get an atomic bomb. But they weren't quite as far along as, uh, as the Americans were. And that's... Historically, in the timeline, you know what, what happened. But in the book, um, Hitler theorizes that I've, I know I made a mistake by attacking the Russians first. So I, and the Americans are going to come for me. So if I can get the atomic bomb first uh, and develop it, I can uh, possibly withhold uh, an invasion. So he theorizes that if he can move his atomic project out of Germany to the secret station, uh, station 211, which is in Antarctica, he can build the bomb and build the bomber to deliver it by flying it through South America. And he's, his pitch is to bomb Washington, D.C. and bring America to its knees in one shot. If you bring America to its knees, Britain will fall because that's America is its lifeblood, and the Russians will be scared you know, to death that they'll be next. And so it brings everybody to a halt, and Hitler ends up with control of Europe. That's essentially the premise of the book. And Station 211 is the secret base where uh, the research happens in Antarctica. It's based a lot in fact. Uh, the, the Nazis did have uh, a whaling station in uh, Antarctica, or at least they, they were trying to do that, but uh, <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't quite succeed. So a lot of this uh, is based in historical fact and historical fiction. It's not going to be about UFOs and aliens and weird, all the stuff you read on the internet. Um, it's going to read a lot like a, a Jack Ryan, Dirk Pitt, uh, Tom Clancy type novel. It, it's almost like a, well, what if? It's going to have people scrambling back to the history books going, I never knew that. Did they really have that? I didn't know that. Never heard that in history book. So it, it's, it's going to read a lot like that. And it's, it's sure to be entertaining. Uh, there's gun chases. There's, uh, it's like Indiana Jones in Antarctica is kind of what it's going to read like. So... Um, I'll start another chapter on it. I'm already on the third chapter now, and uh, uh, I'll update you more as it, as it goes along. This is just kind of a little video test. So. Glad you're along. Glad you're interested, and uh, I'll update you more later. All right? Thanks.